Cups, exciting one of football. <laughs> Sit back and relax as we take it on the world of sports this afternoon on Pensioners on 6.7 FM. I won't be the one to do this alone, of course. Uh, I got Femi in the building as well. Of course, my name is Raymond Stolokwe, the sports illuminator. Femi Shitu, good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, Raymond. <laughs> Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Raymond. Uh, let me ask you this. Uh, we were in here yesterday, definitely. Um, how was your sporting weekend? Uh, it was it was fabulous, actually. Because you I, had the leagues. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I, 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 I would say uh, because of the international break, though, there were actually some exciting uh, fixtures that came out of that one. But then, if you are taking its contract, the league now, then no, no, I definitely missed that. It was actually <laughs> boring. But uh, did you enjoy? I know many people come out and say international break looks so boring, you know, stuff like that. Do you actually enjoy the international break? Of course I did, because there were some uh, outstanding fixtures that even produced a large number of goals, and it was entertaining for uh, any footballer over there. Of course, we start with basketball this afternoon. Where yesterday, the Tigers of Nigeria's basketball national team booked a place at the Tokyo 2020. And they've been saying congratulations to them from even from the sports minister himself. And don't forget also the Tigers, I mean Nigeria's male national team, a basketball national team, also booked a place at the Olympics. Uh, Femi, uh, both male and female, the Tigers, the Tigers at Tokyo 2020 for next year. Are you excited? Uh, of course I am. Uh, it's actually a good one uh, for the country uh, as a whole because uh, we have to we always have a representative in each uh, front of uh, any uh, activities. Uh, sporting sports activities right yeah. there. So it's a very good one when you have another uh, uh, competition and being represented by Nigerians. So it's and coincidentally, one. we had our basketballers going to Olympics while our footballers. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to be there. I mean, if we can't have uh, anything <laughs> football, then we can have basketball. Of course, I felt of course. that was a very lovely of one. Course. Should we call that a substitution? Or <laughs> I don't think you're going to call it, you know. But then, I think it's the right direction, at least. Basketball taking the place of football this time around. <laughs> And of course, on football this time around, NNL will be kicking off this Friday. And of course, our point of call is the of Ibadan. They are right there in Ijebu, they're preparing for the new season. And of course, on Friday, it kicks starts 2019 2020 season. I don't know, Femi, what should we expect from shooting stars uh, for the new season going? I mean, for the NNL. It's been a long, it's been a while we've seen anything right here in your state having a chance at the NPFL. But this time around, shooting stars with coach Edith are going in charge. Do we see a bright future here? Maybe yeah. I should take your opinion. Uh, of course, of course. Uh, I, would, I wouldn't want to uh, downplay their uh, recent. Uh, uh, chances. chances, I mean, they've yeah. been having good so, uh, uh, precision right there. I mean, train left to right and center and trying to put things into place. But I was looking at TSC trying, I mean, we all know the tradition team. I mean, how big they could be. Before, of course, of I course. Mean, and they've they, not been driving over the years. So, so. I mean, twice they've gained, uh, they've been to the playoff and twice they've lost. Should we be expecting something good this time around? Yeah, I think they, are, they should be a slight uh, change in their. Fortune, I mean, because I think they will be actually uh, gutted not to have uh, qualified, qualified the last in the last two times. So they will actually put more intensity in this one and just hopefully we think that they will be able to make that one too. TLC is in B1. Alongside Collins, Edwin, Equity United, Tadisis Lion, Abia Comet, Goran FC, Janamat FC, Apex Queen, Ibom Youth, AKW United, Gator United, and of course, Giant Brilaza. And on Friday, it will be 3 FC against Go Round FC. The very first game of the season. 
Of course, in case you don't know, volleyball, volleyball in Nigeria, we have a league that exists in volleyball. And on Thursday, like in Abuja, the federal capital territory, there will be matches for who to emerge as champions of the volleyball league. I'm trying to get across to the national chairman, the national vice chairman of Nigeria Volleyball Federation, uh, talking about Professor Murakin. Uh, you're going to speak to us and tell us and give us uh, what will happen there, right there in Abuja. When we get through, of course, you're going to hear me live on the show this afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Yeah, welcome to Pensioners Round 6.7 FM. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, talking about quickly, uh, Professor Moyaki, uh, yes. talking about the volleyball that is coming up, I mean, starting this week to the end of the month, we want yes. our listeners to know about, just for them to be aware that there's a volleyball league in Nigeria so that they won't feel it's just football and football and football. So we want to hear from you. Yes, there is a volleyball league we started last year and uh, it has been going on since that time and it's been the, the various uh, stages are being held in the various uh, cities of the country. Like this year alone, with the first phase of uh, the Division 1 was held in the Loring Choir State. The final phase was held in the uh, Asaba. Uh, that's the Division 1 in Delta State. Then uh, for Premier League, the first leg was held in uh, Bauchi just a few weeks ago. And the final one will be coming up this month in uh, Abuja from 28th, from 21st to 31st of November. Okay. 30th of November. Okay. Are we going to have uh, demoted teams and promoted teams? Yes. Uh, after the league management committee has considered the result of phase one and phase two for the two divisions, then those that need to be promoted will be promoted and those that need to be demoted will be demoted. Ah, okay. So the league started last year, uh, last year and it continued. This is going to be a yearly uh, basis uh, and in the case of yes. continuity. Yes, it's going to be clearly. All right, so much. Thank you so much, Professor Murakio. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. All right, thank you. Of course, that was Professor Murakio, Vice Chairman and Jail Volleyball Federation. And in case if you wonder, if we had ever had a volleyball league, we just had from the right source. Quickly, we go straight to the MPFL. Let me have the fixtures uh, for tomorrow's uh, um, end of game match four. Let the listeners uh, hear the fixtures. Okay, uh, tomorrow, well, uh, Wiki Tourist will be facing uh, Delta and uh, MFM will be facing uh, uh, Worry Wolves. Rivers will be facing Rangers, Aqua United against Castina United. Lobby Stars will also be uh, dragging it with Atland and uh, Sunshine Stars with Ayimba. And uh, the other one, Nasarawa versus Plateau, while uh, Jigawa will be facing Kano Pillars. Our match is tomorrow, 4 p.m. Nigerian time. And of course, play to play that they still at the top of the table. Three, max, three matches, three, three games won, nine maximum points. 
Hey, you about to match seven points. If I am about to match seven points. MFM to match seven points. Lobby Stars to match six points. Wiki Doggies to match six points. Don't you talk, yeah? Have you been impressed so far with what has happened within the MPFL? Uh, well, uh, I would uh, rather not use the word uh, impressed, but let me say uh, it's, uh, it gets into an uh, in encouraging point because we feel like the league is starting to, uh, the intensity in the league is starting to Even increase. though we don't get to watch this league. 